the ECG in coronary artery disease, we are now going to see the subtle signs of coronary artery disease because uh, textbooks will describe the classical signs and it is easy to diagnose a coronary artery disease when classical signs like AC depression or ST elevation or uh, the classical TV inversions are present. But many times that changes may not be there in the patient and very subtle signs will tell you that the patient may have coronary artery disease. So, by diagnosing subtle signs, two things we are going to do. One, we are not going to miss a coronary artery disease. Second, the subtle signs are most often the earliest signs. So, we are going to treat the disease at the earliest and before a big manifestation is going to come. So, that are these are the advantages of recognizing the subtle signs. When I say subtle, it means it is not loud, bright, noticeable and obvious anyway. But they are very small and as well as they are very important to diagnose them first and diagnose them early. So, we already discussed about the importance of the electrocardiogram over and above a coronary angiogram because coronary angiogram is a luminogram which tells you the big epicardial coronary arteries are normal but electrocardiogram gives you the ultimate myocardial perfusion as well as the information about the viability and sometimes of the function. So, that is why the electrocardiogram as far as the myocardial cell is concerned give you more information than coronary angiogram. The coronary angiogram is primarily done to decide whether to revascularize or not, but the ECG tells you even for that block in the coronary artery, it is worth revascularizing or not because if the myocardium is not viable, there is no point in revascularizing and it also tells you that revascularization will give the benefit or not. And even the absence of a big epicardial coronary artery disease, the patient still have ischemia because of the small vessel involvement and you have to treat that because, because you cannot say because coronary angiogram is normal, this patient does not require anything for uh, the manifestation he has. So, that is the importance of the ECG over and above coronary angiogram. So, coronary angiogram uh, is uh, definitely an investigation and it should not be interpreted in the absence of basic ECG knowledge. And the ECG in coronary artery disease, we have seen that ischemia produces the T wave change, the injury produces the ST segment change and infarction is going to produce QRS change. Here the most important segment is ST segment which is going to produce either ST elevation or ST depression. The ischemia T wave can be tall T wave or infantile T wave and the infarction is going to be the loss of R wave which represents viability which is going to be replaced by the deep pathological Q wave which is going to be the infarction change. 